Study the following information carefully and answer the questions given below. Now, representatives from eight different banks, uh, Pankaj, Roshan, Dheeraj, Anvi, Anurag, Sanjay, Swapnil and Rujuta are sitting around a circular table facing the center, but not necessarily in the same order. Each one of them is from a different bank. A, B, C, D, E, F, G and H. So basically, eight persons in eight banks have to be arranged around a circular table. And the best part is all of them are facing center, right? All of them are facing the center. So there's no confusion with respect to left and right. Left is clockwise, right is anti-clockwise. So I think at best we'll get two cases. Let us see what happens. Point number one, Sanjay sits second to the right of the representative from D. Sanjay sits second to the right of the representative from D. So let us assume this is the representative from D. Sanjay sits second to the right of D. Right is anti-clockwise, first and second, Sanjay would come here. Right? All of them are facing center. Keep that in mind. So Sanjay sits second to the right of the representative from D. This is done. Then represent, representative from G is an immediate neighbor of the representative from G, D. So G is an immediate neighbor of D. Now immediate neighbor of D, there are two possibilities. So I think let us immediately consider both the possibilities. 5, 6, 7, 8. First duplicate this. D comes here and Sanjay is here according to whatever we have done so far. Right? Now G is an immediate neighbor of D. G is an immediate neighbor of D. So in one case, let us take G in this position. In the other case, let us take G here. Two people sit between the representative of G and Roshan. Two people sit between the representative of G and Roshan. So look at the case one here. Two persons between G and Roshan. So G is here. Dash, dash, Roshan, not possible. So the other side. G, dash, dash, Roshan. Roshan will definitely come here. Right? According to case one, Roshan's position should be there. Because there are two persons between Roshan and G. Case 1, I mean in the second case, there are two persons between Roshan and G. So G dash dash Roshan or dash dash Roshan. There are two possibilities here. Either this is Roshan or this is Roshan. Yes or no? Two persons between G and Roshan. So G, two people, Roshan. G, two people here and Roshan. So let us see. I think no point in duplicating the second case. Uh, to get the three possibilities. Let, we'll go forward and see what happens. Dheeraj and Anurag are immediate neighbors of each other. Dheeraj and Anurag are immediate neighbors of each other. See the next point also. Neither Dheeraj nor Anurag is an immediate neighbor of either Roshan or the representative from D. So from the first point, we know that Dheeraj and Anurag, we need two consecutive positions. They are immediate neighbors of each other. And we also know that none of these two persons, neither Dheeraj nor Anurag, is an immediate neighbor of either Roshan or the representative from D. See, Roshan is marked here. We know that they are not immediate neighbors of Roshan or D, which means they cannot come in these two positions and in these two positions. Are you able to follow? Who cannot come? Dheeraj and Anurag cannot come in these four positions because they are not immediate neighbors of Roshan and immediate neighbors of D. Now, we also know that Dheeraj and Anurag would need two consecutive positions. So what happens? If you observe in case one, alternate positions are not allowed. See, this cannot be Dheeraj and Anurag. Again, alternate position cannot be Dheeraj and Anurag. The next alternate cannot be Dheeraj and Anurag. And the next alternate cannot be Dheeraj and Anurag. So it is obvious that when alternate positions are, you know, blocked for Dheeraj and Anurag, it is not possible to arrange them in two consecutive positions. Because what are the possibilities? These are the possibilities. And these are, none of these two positions are, I mean, no two of these positions are consecutive, right? So this case is anyway wrong. We want two consecutive positions for Dheeraj and Anurag. It's not possible at all, right? The only places open for Dheeraj and Anurag are these two. Are they consecutive? No. So case one is wrong. Look at case two. But the problem in case two is that there are two positions for Roshan. But I think the same point, see, like we have seen in the previous case, what are the two possibilities for Roshan? One is Roshan can come here. But like the previous case, if you see in the previous case also what happened? D and Roshan were opposite to each other like this. We know that Dheeraj and Anurag cannot be neighbors of Roshan or D. So they cannot come in these four positions. Are you able to follow? So the point is, if you take Roshan in this place, again the same pro problem. Dheeraj and Anurag cannot be consecutive. So I think Roshan cannot come here. We can eliminate that now. Roshan cannot come here. So now we can confirm that Roshan would come in this position. Yes or no? Roshan would come here. So let us write that. I hope all of you have followed. Same like previous case, D and Roshan were here, opposite to each other. And they, their neighbors cannot be Dheeraj and Anurag. So it is not possible to arrange Dheeraj and Anurag in consecutive positions. So that is the reason we have closed this possibility of Roshan. Roshan has to come here. Right? 
Now do the remaining part, next point. The next point said, I mean, uh, it said Dhiraj and Anurag are immediate neighbors. But they should not be neighbors of Roshan or D. They cannot come in these three positions. Now the only possibility for Dhiraj and Anurag, the only two consecutive places available for Dhiraj and Anurag are these two. Yes or no? They have to take these two positions. Because here it is Sanjay. They cannot come here. There is only one place available for Dhiraj and Anurag. And they will, again these three positions are ruled out. So Dheeraj and Anurag will come in these two positions. But in which order? Not very clear. But let us put it. Dheeraj and Anurag. Right? They will take these two positions in some order. Either the same order or we will have to you know, reverse it. As simple as that. Okay. Next point. Representative from C sits second to the right of Anvi. C is second to the right of Anvi. C is second to the right of Anvi. And then next it says... Uh, Anvi is neither the representative of D nor G. So Anvi cannot come in these two positions. Look at it. Anvi cannot come in these two positions. So what are the possible positions of Anvi? Either this or this. Because all these other positions are occupied by the persons there. Sanjay, Anurag, Dheeraj, Roshan. And Anvi is not from D or G. So Anvi has to come either in this or this. The point given to us was representative from C sits second to the right of Anvi. Now if you take Anvi in this position, let's say if you take Anvi in this position, what happens? C should be second to the right. So first and second C has to come here. But this is already G, which means Anvi cannot come here. So definitely Anvi would come in this position. Let us now clear it out. You are able to follow. And representative from C sits second to the right of Anvi. So first and second C would come here. So this is done. <coughs> Swapnil and the representative from A are immediate neighbors of each other. Swapnil and A are immediate neighbors of each other. Try it out. Swapnil and A are immediate neighbors of each other. And next point is also with respect to A only. It says Roshan is not the representative of A. So Swapnil and A are immediate neighbors of each other. Now understand, already these five positions are occupied by the persons. Roshan, Anvi, Dhiraj, Anurag, Sanjay. Swapnil will come in any of these three positions. Can come in any of these three positions. We know that Swapnil and A are immediate neighbors. Now if you take Swapnil in D's position, Immediate neighbor should be A, which is not possible. So, Swapnil cannot come in D's position. Swapnil can come in C and Roshan will come in A. Or Swapnil can come in G and Sanjay will come in A. Are you able to follow? Swapnil and, Rosh, Swapnil and A are immediate neighbors. So, Swapnil either comes for G or comes for C. If Swapnil comes for C, Roshan will go for A. Or if Swapnil comes for G, then Roshan will go for, uh, Sanjay will go for A. But the next point says that Roshan is not the representative of A. A cannot come here. So it is clear that A would be for Sanjay and Swapnil comes here. Right? Only one person sits between Dheeraj and the representative from B. Only one person sits between Dheeraj and B. So check this. First of all, Dheeraj's position is not fixed. Only one person sits between Dheeraj and the representative from B. So if Dheeraj is here, B has to come here. If Dheeraj is here, then B has to come here. These are two possibilities. Let us go for the next point. Rujita sits third to the left of representative from H. Rujita will sit third to the left of H. Where will Rujita come? See, there are only two possible positions for Rujita. Right? Already these persons are fixed. Rujita will either be from C or D. The point says Rujita sits third to the left of H. Rujita is third to the left of H. If Rujita is third to the left of H, H will be the third to the right of Rujita. See, when all the persons are facing center, we can say that if A is to the left of B, B is to the left of uh, B is to the right of A. Yes or no? When all the persons are facing the same direction, this is an advantage that we have. What advantage? Rujuta is third to the left of H. Implies H is third to the right of Rujuta. H is third to the right of Rujuta. Now, if you take Rujuta in this position, what happens? If you take Rujuta here, H is third to the right of Rujuta. First, second, third. This should be H. But this is already A, which means Rujita cannot come here. Rujita has to come for D. So this is Rujita's position. Right? And you can also fix the position of H now. Rujita is third to the left of H. H is third to the right of Rujita. So first, second, third. This is H. Now, is it Anurag or Dheeraj is not clear, but definitely this is H. Next, uh, representative from F sits second to the left of representative from E. <coughs> Sorry. F is second to the left of E. First of all, which banks are closed? A, C, D, G, H. A, C, D, G and H are closed. B, E, F are left out. B, E, F are left out. 
and where will those three come? They will come here, right? D, E, F in some order. It says F is second to the left of E. So obviously E has to come here. Sorry, E has to come here and F is second to the left of E, right? So E first and second left is F here. Are you able to follow? These are the three positions. Obviously, if F is second to the left of E, the only way that it will work out is you take E in this position, second to the left of E, first and second. This would be F. So E and F are also done, which means unv is from B, right? With respect to persons, I think everybody is done. Who will come for C's place? In C's place, Roshan, Dheeraj, Anvi, Anurag, Sanjay, Swapnil, Lujutar, Mark, Pankaj. Pankaj will come here. The only thing which is not fixed so far is Dheeraj and Anurag's positions. I mean, definitely these two consecutive positions, but what order is not known. Look at this point now. Only one person sits between Dheeraj and B. Only one person sits between Dheeraj and B. Which means Dheeraj cannot come here because if we take Dheeraj here, Dheeraj and B are together. So take Dheeraj in position of H, in place of H. And done. Are you able to follow? Dheeraj will come here. Because there is one person between Dheeraj and B. And this would be, who was that person along with Dheeraj? Where are those two? Dheeraj and Anurag. This is Anurag. We are done. Is that clear to all of you?